Hello and welcome everybody, King Demps here, and it's time, the moment we've all been waiting for, not Monacy's first game for G2, although that is important, but the real thing we've all been waiting for, King Dumps' opinion on how good Monacy is, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know it's important info, the whole of the pro scene it has been waiting for this, especially Carlos, wants to know if he wasted his money, don't worry buddy, I got you. I'm going to tell you right now if you wasted your cash. Obviously, first game uh, at the Blast Spring Groups. Apparently, we're going to have to sit through like 40 years of the match being paused before it goes live. God damn. Let's go. Right, it looks like G2 are going to set up for a fairly simple inner pop here. Let me just turn off my second screen. It's distracting the heck out of me. Yeah, just setting up for a fairly simple inner pop. Gonna chook some nades in. Send Jax out first. Obviously, he's pre-aiming the hot angle. And let's go. Good entry from Jax. Nice little trick of Monty to bounce his head off of the door frame there. Ooh. Well played by Grim. That's a, uh, a good hold by Grim there. See what Alex is going for. He's going for a big wrap. Oh no, he's tried to try to fake it out. I think he will just die here. Oh, he's going for an even bigger wrap. Wow. He's absolutely bamboozling them. I think Floppy should have an easy kill here. Yeah, this is tough for Alexi. Not much he can do. And round done. So not much to say there. Um, don't worry. Just because he, he went one for one doesn't mean he's crap. Doesn't mean he's good. Plenty more of the demo left to go. Right, let's zoom you through. I'm interested to see what they're going to do with Monacy on this T side. Is he going to be regularly paired with Jax as sort of like an entry duo? Or how are they going to utilize him? What kind of role is he going to play? Nico's obviously going to be the outside guy nine times out of ten. Um, and it looks like here they're going to go for a ramp play. Um, and hope that, I mean, Nico's already died, but hoping that Nico got something going outside. It's kind of, oh, good entry from Jax, but it's still going to be pretty tough. Do you see how Alexi ran across first there just to throw off JT's aim? Now, uh, if JT's going to be playing ramp, this is probably a position I'd focus on a lot if I was G2. Fang took a dink, but got the kill anyway. Again, not too much to write home about here. It looks like G2 are going to slow it down. Yeah, so they're going to go for an upper hit here with Monacy lurking through ladder. Um, hmm, I think Fang needs to stay controlling this position. I'm not sure why he does what he does. Good for Monacy to get out there. Doesn't read the footsteps very well. Okay, yeah, you can tell Monacy... Okay, yeah, that's that's actually just quickly. That's a moment you can tell Monacy doesn't play much um, nuke because he misread the steps completely there. He had no idea where Fang was coming from. Fang should probably get that kill. So well done, Monacy, for uh, forgetting that one. But that, that probably should be Fang's every day of the week. Now this is probably a G2 round. This is two SMGs. This is tough for Grimm and Junior. Yeah, they're both coming from the same position. Yeah, it's just impossible retake there. Unplayable retake. Right, so Monacy headed, I was about to say he's headed outside. It looks like him and Nico are both headed outside this round. Yep, looks like we've got majority. Alexi B is going to hold for lobby pushes and ramp pushes. It's obviously they know that it's a poor buy from complexity, so they are suspecting some kind of shenanigans. They're going to throw a little bit of utility towards inner to fake some sort of hit, maintain some presence there. And Monacy is going to be the last guy outside. So they've taken lower control. Nico's died on a little solo expedition into Garage. Not ideal. But it doesn't look like Junior's going to be able to recover that AK super easily. He's kind of scared to, so... Still okay for G2. They've gotten down lower. There's not much presence from complexity here. If they can kill JT, I believe, is the guy holding. Yep, then this should still be their round. Pretty straightforward. Again, not much right home about yet for Monacy. Hasn't got too involved yet. 
couple of kills to his name, but nothing fancy. JT really should do better there. Nice little Angel. Oh, Grim in Dark is potentially going to be a problem. I did watch this game, um, not super intensely, but I was watching it, so I do remember bits and pieces. Yeah, and Grim activates from Dark. And just trade out. They just trade out into a 1v1. Yeah, now this is uh, a rough 1v1 for Junior, but... Oh, he decides to go for the Deagle. Interesting. Decides to go for the one-hit headshot. Yep. Oh, okay. That was a nice 1D. Yeah, um, Alexi couldn't really hold the bomb there. He left it too long. The first tap was fine, I think. Yeah, not much Alexi B can do there. Probably needs to just hit the shot. Um, but well played by Junior to hit his 1D. Alright, come on, let's get some action. I want to see some Monacy orping. That's what I want to see. Monacy? Monacy? What's everyone going with, by the way? Uh, uh, let me know in the comments what your what your preferred pronunciation is. So G2 just going smokes out. Uh, just going to absolutely Rambo it down to lower. I think there's going to be a lot of focus on this lower site if JT is going to be the main man responsible for vending it. Although he's all the way at ramp and they've actually got Fang dedicated to lower this time around, so... G2 instead going to make their way back up. I think there was enough spacing there between them and Alexi B that Complexity don't know for sure what's going on here. Someone might have to have a peak outer at some point. Yeah, there you go. There's the outer peak just to get a bit of info. So they know what area uh, of the map G2 have control of. They have control of yard kind of and, and secret and garage. So Complexity pretty comfortable in their hold here. Should never lose this round really, Complexity. An interesting veto, I think, by Complexity to put G2 on a map that Monacy hasn't played really at all. Um, didn't There was Navi Jr.'s permaban, so he's never really played the map competitively. Um, and I think that's probably uh, intentional kind of vetoing from Complexity, trying to get it onto Nuke. Interesting that G2 are just quite happy to go for it, though. But Nuke is like a pretty good map for good entry by Jax. Jax is uh, pretty on fire with the entries early on here, so yeah, wow, he's just going ham. It looks like he's taking space. Yeah, okay, so he was trying to take space towards ramp there. Not the end of the world, could have fallen back into the 4v3, but... And now we've got Mona C just holding for... Rotates and such. So it looks like they're not having Mona C be the tip of the spear. It looks like they're very much trying to not overburden him with responsibility. He's kind of tending to be like he's second guy in or he's throwing the utility and coming in behind the rest of the team. So, yeah, not too much responsibility being put on his shoulders um, on this T side so far, which I've got to be honest, I like. I, I don't think on a map that Monacy doesn't know and hasn't played professionally, I don't think you want to um, have him running around as uh, the entry guy or, or holding really key positions on the map. I think it's fine to have him kind of do do what he's doing now. All right, throwing the outside smokes, grabbing himself another nade. All right, going for full outside control here, G2. I think G2 are kind of... A They've kind of already worked out the complexity, seem to be quite willing to kind of just not aggressively fight outside. At least they haven't tried at all so far in this game. So I suspect Nico's probably said that to Alexi B, said, look, every time I've been out here and we've been out here, they've not fought it. So between Nico and Alexi B, I suspect they kind of figured this out. And again, Monus is just holding the flanks. Not masses of responsibility. Just, just doing his job. But yeah, G2 also a lot of focus kind of pressuring this lower bomb site. Um, they're wrapping back. They're going to take garage control. I think Monacy said, look, nothing seems to be happening out here. Monacy's seen Junior there, so that's GG. No problem. Should be able to clear Junior out pretty easily. And yeah, G2 are going to do that. They're just going to isolate him. Monacy's holding flanks. So this is good awareness by Monacy, just letting his teammates do... The dirty work while he just kind of keeps awareness and makes sure that nothing can stab them in the back. Yep, they're going to find Junior here, I think, pretty easily. Oh, Monacy is actually the one to find Junior, so good work there. Yeah, that was just nice. Whoa, okay, now we're seeing some Chris Bane, baby. Yeah. 
This is what we want to see. Yeah, so it was a nice little thing. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so it's against pistols, but just really, really crisp headshot aim there on the AK from Monacy. Good stuff. It's exactly what you want to see from him. You just want to see when he needs to be hitting his shots and the angels are happening. This is what you want to see from him. I don't need to see Monacy take over games, particularly not early on in his G2 days. Um, I don't think that's what you're expecting or what you're after. Um, you just want to see... You want to see him not looking too uncomfortable at the pro level, and so far he's been absolutely fine. He's done all the jobs he needed to, hasn't made any major mistakes. I know we're only four, five rounds in, but um, but this is, is kind of what you want to see from Mercy. And it's good to see him uh, looking okay and comfortable on the T side of a map that he doesn't know, but I think CT side will probably be more challenging for him. So we'll, we'll see how it goes on the uh, CT side. Okay, so just a simple uh, eco. We're not going to like give this one too much screen time because, you know, what the hell is an eco? So let's just kind of speed through, get the rough idea. Outside, they get two entries. Uh, complexity kind of all went outside this round. Um, I don't dislike the idea, actually. Uh, again, very nice and crispy with the aim. Yeah, I don't dislike the idea of going outside, um, like, as a team. Because they haven't really fought outside the room. There you go. Nice work. Monacy just getting the frags he needs to. Getting the frags he should. Excellent work so far. Nice and efficient. That's what you like to see. Oh, boy. The AWP has come out. This is what we've been looking forward to. Let's see what the man... Uh, he's not really a man, is he? He's 16. He's kind of a kid. Yeah, nice and quick. Junior gets absolutely wrecked there. Um, I wonder what Junior was aiming at. Was he not holding that angle? I think Junior will be disappointed to win that one, but uh, to lose that fight, sorry, but that was very quick from Monacy, so good work so far. And if Monacy can do that, if he can out -duel his opposing AWPA, you know, that that's basically his kind of job kind of done. Like, it, it's basically the thing Amanek couldn't do a lot of the time. Um, so it's basically job done if Monacy can... Yeah, that's not the play from Grim there. I don't know what the hell Grim's doing. Just running through a molly that's been ticking. Like, he was never getting out of that. It was a one for one at absolute best. Yeah, that's kind of a dog tier play from Grim. I'm not sure what the hell he's doing there. But great awareness from Monacy to understand that uh, a play from hell. And a great awareness from Monacy again here. Um, you know, this could just be comms from G2, but, you know, we've got to give, I think, Monacy credit for it. Um, he's showing a great deal of awareness here to kind of keep an eye on the... Uh... God, just as I say that, just as he stops watching, Floppy pushes. But you can see Monacy was kind of aware of that play, so I don't know. Maybe Nico shouldn't die for that. Ooh, nice and quick. Love it. I mean, you can tell Monacy's, um, like, reaction times are super, super quick. Like, that is definitely apparent and very crisp me mechanically. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Oh, look at Junior giving him the props. I wouldn't be doing that. I'd be, like, in this guy's head. I'd be, like, he's 16, getting his head. I mean, it is the blast, the first game of the year, blast group stages. Probably not um, not getting super competitive. Like, quick play the mind games just yet. But, you know, I'm ruthless. I'm a bad person, so I totally would. I'd be, like, flaming him and shit. I'd be, like, HP, question mark, even though I didn't hit him. Right, so straight, fairly straightforward default. Classic Nico outside for heading ramp. Um, this is something that G2 have done a couple of times already. Or at least once already. Uh, yeah, Nico finds the entry outside. This is a pretty straightforward round. Bad buy for complexity. Complexity are not showing a lot on this CT half so far, I've got to be honest. Um, G2 haven't had to do anything wild and crazy to run out to a what should be a 6-2 lead here. Um, let's just get through this a bit. Not sure how Jax has ended up dying there, but oh well. Oh, hit that one, Moonsy. Nice and smart repositions. Doesn't re-peak like a, uh, a less mature player would. Just communicates the info to his teammates and falls back. Keeps that AWP alive. It's good work. No rush to get the bomb down from G2 either. I like that. Just making sure they had full control of the site. Making sure they're not going to get caught by any cheeky pistol pushes. Nice and clean stuff from G2 so far on this T side. Not sure how floppy has caught Monacy in the back there. Ah, uh, he was up in uh, control. Fair enough. Probably should have been being covered by one of his teammates there, Monacy. Uh, not his fault that he died on that one. 
All right, let's see what's happening next. Uh, oh, Junior finds Nico outside, so that's important duel for Junior to win. Junior, a lot of this CT side is going to ride on him getting outside control and making sure that G2 don't just get the run of the game outside in yard. Um, whether Junior can do it or not consistently is a, another matter. So just showing it down here, G2, waiting to see if any of the CTs get antsy in their pantsy and start to push. They do not. Going to go for some outside smokes, it looks like. Just taking away information from complexity. I like the, A, the taking away of information. It makes complexity sweat a little bit. Um, adds pressure without needing to do much. Well done, Grim. We're going one for one there. Needs that. Ooh. Probably should hit that Monacy, but no worries. Jax was there immediately to bail him out. Thank teammate Jax. Going inside here. Nice and simple. Don't hate it. Did he just clip his teammate? I think he did. Quick scope. Back the back. Yeah. Yeah, not much DT you can do there in an unfavorable situation. Um, the call to go up, uh, it was not bad, but it just ended up being the wrong call um, because they had two fast rotating from vents or very close uh, complexity in vents who could just rotate up and stab that hit in the back. Like when one person comes up the vents, you're never expecting another guy to come up so quickly. So they give Monacy a little boost for a potential push outside. So G2 now feeling like Complexity are fighting outside a little bit more, which is why they're using this utility here. Obviously, Complexity had Grim playing very close last round. So G2 just doing their due diligence outside, making sure nobody can be pushed up. And now they're going to take that control. Another one Monacy probably should hit. Not the best there. Yeah, that definitely, I think... I think when you're viewing VODs like this um, as a team, you probably don't linger too much on stuff like that because mechanical stuff, the player knows they fucked up. There's no need to, like, go over it. But from a, an analyst point of view, it is worth kind of pointing out, like, you know, mechanically, Mona C probably should have made that shot. Um, we'll just skip through the rest of the rounds here. Yeah, because it's just going to be straightforward win for complexity. Um, yeah, good time for, I think, G2 to take a timeout because there's a couple of rounds that have kind of not gone their way. Oh, what have I done? I just pressed a button I did not mean to. I meant to have a look at the scoreboard. So there's a couple of rounds that haven't gone their way and they haven't really threatened to win the round. Okay, straightforward up in it. They're going to go down lower. They're stuck in the smoke. This is an absolute disaster. Oh, that hurts. Oh, eventually Jack's got down. Yeah, that was a bit of a mess there that they just all got stuck and didn't get through the uh, get into vent there. They wanted to get a very, very fast vent drop. It's actually worked out perfectly fine. Complexity kind of haven't reacted to this. Actually, they've got two pushing down secret, it looks like. Uh, yeah, 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 they did. They had two pushing down secrets, so... Oh, they found a good gap here, Complexity. Yeah. Yeah, just no awareness that two could have got down uh, Secret so quickly like that. And Nico's never going to win that. He's too far away. Yeah, so another round kind of falls apart for G2 there. They got into the to the plan um, pretty straightforward, but I'm kind of surprised that they weren't aware of the gaps. Um, I'm surprised that they weren't aware that people could have gotten down Secret. I'm not sure what info G2 thought they had. Um, I'd have to go back and watch that um, more from like an overview point of view. And Nico just says, fuck this, and runs outside and kills two people. Nico go kill Alexi B's prime strat. Um, obviously, the secondary strat will be Alexi B. <laughs> will be Mona C go kill. I just, just had a stroke there as I was trying to say that joke. Not my finest hour. So, Monacy doing really nicely in terms of, like, efficiency, getting all the kills he needs to. Um, but he hasn't had to do much too spectacular here. Um, but this is actually kind of what you want to see. He looks, like, pretty comfortable um, on this T side. Um, I think this is a really good sign in the sense that he looks at home and he definitely does not look like he's being 
intimidated, let's say, by the fact that he's playing Tier 1 Counter-Strike. And, you know, it's a new team. It's his first game. There's a lot of eyes on him. So I think this bodes well for the future. But it, it kind of looked like Monacy had that arrogance, which I think you, you need to be like a star player, a star or the kind of player he is. Um, and why I suspected he would make a decent transition into Tier 1. Like, I, d I didn't think it would be like, oh, he's going to need a year to ramp up. Nah. I think he'll need, like, a couple of months to get acclimated and settled. And, you know, I think on definitely some CT sides, he's probably going to have more struggles because CT side is a little bit more... You need to be more coordinated with your team and stuff. You need to understand, I think, the meta that occurs at Tier 1 a bit more. Whereas with T-Side, you can kind of run around and brute force stuff and, and let your teammates do the calling and just kind of fulfill your role. I think you need to be a little bit more independent um, on CT than you do on T in terms of the way you think. So G2 get that round. And Complexity are in a rough spot in the sense that they kind of need to win this round and they've lost Grim immediately to a door spam, I assume. So not looking good. Yeah, Complexity have kind of underwhelmed a little bit, I think. I know a lot of people have been hyping them until like, Oh my god, NA is back! Um, but, like, actually watching them play... Fun spot you couldn't read too much into because JT was playing with a bajillion ping, so... But I thought in these um, Blast games, they didn't look too hot, Complexity. Um, definitely going to give them some more time, though. Um, you know, they're still a pretty young team, to be honest. Most of the players on this don't have the hugest... Uh, don't have the hugest, don't have the most tier 1 experience, so... Just gonna grab some water. Right, so uh Ammonacy just hasn't been involved so far. Creeping down into secret with his orb. Ooh, would I have held that for a bit longer? I probably would have held that for a bit longer, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I think they just know that they're going to finish lower here. So they're getting all four down for the attack. And it's the safest way when you're playing in like a 4v3 or whatever. Just group up. Just group up. Make sure you can trade. Um, nothing stupid can happen if you group up as four and trade out. Jax with an entry again. Floppy gets the trade. And oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate for Monacy there. He knows exactly where Junior is. Junior's not going to get anything done here. Probably should just save the orb at this point. Which, it, yeah, it, he was going to try and do. But obviously, Monacy catches him on the way out. So, I mean, solid but totally unspectacular T-side from Monacy so far here. Um, not had to do anything wild. That was so close and so fast. Holy shit. Dude, his reaction times are nuts. It's a shame that I didn't hit. I don't know how. Maybe it went through too much of the door or... But that looked like it was on. Too much of the door. Too much of the wall. I think G2 are aware that it's a bad buy. They're going to slow it down. Set up grenades for inner. Oh no, Monacy's going to go have a little look outer. Oh no, they are setting up some grenades for inner. I like. Yeah. Obviously, Monacy are going to be one of the last guys in with his AWP. And yeah, they just get the bomb site for free. Oh, gets his head ripped off by JT there. Good shot from JT, but G2 will clear this round. Yeah, Monacy says nice shot. Right. Let's gonna do our way through 9-5. Uh, complexity. This probably need this round to have any hope of making it competitive in the game. Let's see if they can do so. Oh, Monacy, bad mechanics. He failed that jump. What a noob. He slipped off the, the greased up pipe. But look how shiny that pipe is, man. And the fact you slide off it, it's it's greased. 100%. Greasy pipe. Just chilling. Just maxing and relaxing. Is he holding for that? Um, I think he is holding for anybody to... Oh, no. He's, uh, he's, hot. he's waiting to do his grenades. So he's throwing the same grenades... And the hit has completely failed. Yeah, this should be... Yeah, this is a complexity round. Is... Good shot, but like... Yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had. So, good first half from Monacy. Um, I've said it a couple of times, but he hasn't really had to do anything too spectacular. 
Um, he's hit some nice shots. He's looked very crisp mechanically, which is exactly what we expect from him. He's also looked quite comfortable on that T side. Never really seemed lost. Knew what his job was at all points. Um, nice and smooth. Im impressed with that uh, that first half. Like I say, nothing wild, but exactly what you want to see. And I think promising for the future. But this CT side, I think, is going to be more telling. Um, because CT side, like I say, you need to be a more of an independent thinker. I think you need to have more of a feel for rotations and the meta of rotations and stuff on the map. Uh, and so he seems aware. Yep, he is definitely aware. Oh, he's going to get down here. Yeah, not much he can do there. Maybe he can get one. Um, but that's rough. But it is quite rough there. Uh, oh, Alexi B with a nice little Taparuski. What are we going to get here? Ah, uh, yeah, I actually remember this. We want to be looking at my boy Nico in the 1v2. Grim is super low. So it's not too hard to get that kill. For this next one, look how composed that is. Just waits for the repeat, taps him in the head. Nice stuff. Right, so G2 taking control of this game now. Um, sorry, let's get back on Monacy with his scout. Interesting to see where he's going to play in general. Oh, drop a nice little... Scoop. So it looks like he's going to be responsible for this kind of outside heaven position. Um, I suspect if he has an orb, sometimes he'll go and play more aggressively with Nico outside. Um, but it looks like this... I mean, Smoothie kind of plays like this for, for, uh, for Fnatic on Nuke on CT side. Um, I think this is quite a common way for the Orpa to play is to play this kind of outside position. Maybe he can go fight Garage and be more aggressive sometimes. Sometimes he'll be kind of playing more passively towards hell and such. Basically keeping an eye on this cross. Sometimes he'll be up in heaven trying to look over the smokes, etc, etc. Yeah, absolutely piss all happening. So, Nico says, leave me. I'm all Gucci gang out here. So, Monacy goes to help with the ramp hold. Now he's going to come back outside. Potentially because Nico heard and or saw something. Yeah, not really going to have anything to do this round, is he? Nope. Yeah. Did not think so. So, absolutely nothing to do that. Here you go. Like I say, sometimes he's probably going to be more aggressive. Look at him bouncing in those doorways. You can tell he's a fucking zoomer. Yeah, you can tell he's a zoomer because he's always doing that shit. Even when it's totally unnecessary, he's still bouncing around like a little bunny rabbit. So Alexi B's getting run down ramp here. Monacy, because he's getting run down, there's no point going to take an aggressive peek because he'll probably just get run down. And yeah, this round's uh, GG. So, nothing for Monacy to do the first two rounds. He's like, guys, I'm bored. Can I just push? Holding silo. You can tell again he's a little bit of a zoomer because he doesn't uh, hold angles for very long. He's quite like, got to be moving all the time, got to be moving all the time. Always moving, always doing stuff. He's never just holding an angle for like more than like five seconds. I don't think I've seen him hold an angle for more than five seconds once. Went to go and throw the supporting flash for his teammate there. Um, but Nico gets entried. Keeping an eye out for any jumps up onto Big Red or anything like that. And also, I think he's aware of the drop down. Yep, there you go. Aware of the drop down from Silo and that that can be a potential issue. So, again, play pretty smart. Playing pretty efficient and conservative. Nothing too wild. Yeah, that's that's a crispy shot. That's a nice crispy shot. Very important as well. Gives you two a, a good chance in this round, actually. Hmm. Mm, yeah, he probably should fall. No, swinging out wide is the wrong decision there. Yeah, that's not the right decision. Um, I think that's a bit of an experience. Swinging out wide there was never the play. He knew that two people were about and near. He's got a scout versus AKs. I think just sit more passive, make the AKs walk into you. I think that's probably the first like outright mistake we've kind of seen in decision making. I don't think that was um, super smart. But yeah, one thing I have noticed is he doesn't hold angles for very long. He's very, like, fidgety. Very much like a 16-year-old with ADHD. Um, or a 16-year-old who's had, like, way too much Red Bull. Aware of the inner play. Goes back out. He's got the full orb now, which is nice. 0.008. Is that the float? Damn, son. That thing got some low float. 
Uh, are they aware? Yeah, the way Monish is playing, it looks like they're aware maybe the lower is a potential problem. He's getting set up on this ramp, Angel. I think he should get one here. Oh, unlucky. Good peek from Grim. Yeah, fall back now, buddy. Okay, he does the right thing. Might get wrecked from control. Do they know someone's in control? No, they don't. Yeah, a little bit of a failure in information there, I think, from G2. But they actually get away from it because Nico comes from door and wrecks everyone. That's what happened, right? Yeah, Nico opened uh, opened decon door and just wrecked everyone. Um, this round should be GG. Easy peasy, no squeezy. And they've rescued the orb for the boy! So, um, not Monacy's fault there, really. I think that's an overall fault uh, of G2 there. I I guess they didn't hear floppy drop. I guess that's all it is. They just didn't hear floppy vent drop. That, that's the only thing. Um, so whether you call that a failure or not, I don't know. I think on G Nuke, you probably need to play someone close enough to hear that vent drop nine times out of ten. You see what I mean? He doesn't hold an angle for more than ten seconds. He's always, like, floating between angles and stuff. It's not a criticism, per se. It's just something I've noticed of his play. I think that will help him sometimes because he's, like, constantly moving, tough to hit, always, like, keeping an eye on many different angles. I think sometimes it's going to cost him because he's going to not hold an angle that he maybe should just spend five seconds holding and um, get himself killed. Yeah, this is done -so. So speed through, G2 um, win this game fairly comfortably, Complexity are going to grab a few rounds at a certain point, okay nice, so a change up here, they're going to play more aggressively, him and Nico. mosi has gone quiet so far on the CT side, but honestly, there we go, that's a nice shot, very very well done, nice again, nice quick reaction, snappy, good, decent aim. Like, yeah, notice he's gone a bit quiet on this CT side, but I don't actually think it's really his fault, per se. Like, he hasn't... He hasn't done too much wrong, except for that on the scout round where he kind of swung wide. That was a bit of a... Oh, boy. Okay, now that was saucy. Woo! That was nice. That was nice. So yeah, just little flashes of what you're going to get from Monacy. I like. I don't think he ends up. I think Fang ends up ripping his head off there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Fang does end up ripping his head off. Uh, match point. Uh, G2 are going to stumble and fumble about with match point for a bit here, but they will eventually get it. See, if they lose the entry. Wow, they must. They win this round after they lose the entry. So, Monacy getting put under some pressure here. Good shot. I think I fall back here. I don't like the re-peak. In a 4v3, I think he's leaving himself a bit exposed. Oh, no. He's, Alexi's come to help him. Not sure if I'm being harsh there, but I maybe would prefer just kind of falling back. Like, get, getting the AWP on a longer angle, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you're you're giving yourself every opportunity that the T's can get up in your face and get nice and close to you. I don't think you need to. I think you can fall back to ramp with Alexi there. Um, potentially give up that heaven position, but then you give up that map control and it's, it's kind of nice for the T's to try and wrap up her there. But you could just play a retake. I think the call was, don't worry, I'm coming to help you from Alexi B. Um, he then goes like, yep. Not much Alexi can do here on 6 HP. Yeah, not, nothing really for Alexi to be doing there. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm being overly harsh there. Um, and it might not have been Monacy's call at all. It might have been Alexi B saying, don't worry, I'm going to come help you. Um, but I would have liked to see the AWP fall back there. I, I just don't think there's any need to put yourself in a position where you can get run down and, like, let the rifles get so close to you. So a trade at ramp. Um, they have that ramp control, which is why Monacy is going to go and fill that gap. He's a little bit worried about outside because he doesn't have any support. Does he have any support outside, actually? Uh, where's Nico playing? Nico's playing in lower... Yeah, so he's got no support outside, so Monacy is... He's in a little bit of an uncomfortable spot with an AWPer, to be honest. To be kind of worried about this and worried about ramp. Um, and as you can see, again, not holding either of them for more than a second. Oh, this might be the longest he's ever been on an angle. 
Um, just an inter just an interesting like facet of the way Monacy plays. I don't think like just sitting on an angle is an optimal way to play uh, CS on the CT side, particularly because so many people pre-fire. People are so good at knowing what angles get held and stuff. That um, and peak's advantage is a thing, um, but it's just interesting with an AWP that Monacy. Plays. Okay, he kind of exposed a lot of himself there on that angle, but I guess he needed to get a kill quickly if anything were to be happening in that round, and Nico is left probably just trying to retrieve that AWP. Oh, he might go for a late retake. Yeah. I mean, it looks a bit dumb, but I think he's hoping people have fallen back. Um, he's probably started thinking, why are you stood on the bomb? It's been like 20 seconds, but... No timeout? Nope, cool. Okay, they're just going to play a full eco. We won't dwell over this one too much. They go in, uh, they get all the kills, and they win the round. Let's just speed through this, so we're not bored. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Wait, Alexi gets a sweet, a sweet Zeus here. Ah! Ah! Best sound in the game. I don't care. Don't care what you have to say. Best sound in the game. Right, let's go to dirt through this. Right, Monacy back on the A V B. Again, hasn't really made too many mistakes on this CT half, like. I know that his fragging has basically completely gone to zero, but he hasn't... Like, actually, he's gotten frags when they've come anywhere near him. A lot of the time, they haven't. A lot of the time, he's been rotating into, uh, like, not very comfortable situations with the AWP. I don't really think he's played bad at all, this CT half. So, it looks like they've already got lower a complexity. This is going to be tough. Yeah, lost the entry, rotating in. Yeah, I think this round's done already. I think G2 are just, yeah, they're just sacking this one off. Fair enough, they've got loads of rounds. You'll see that happen, like, a few times on Nuke, where the T side will get lower, basically, for free, and the CTs will just shrug their shoulders and save. Um, oh, okay, I think they've heard info here outside. Mona C getting to ramp, yeah, because they know the secret place, so there could be potentially a wrap coming from ramp to kind of make the lower bomb site a pinch. But little do they know, everybody's gone outside, and complexity have actually slowed it down. So they uh, did the wall of smokes, made lots of steps as if they were going secret, and now they've kind of slowed it back down and come back outside, and they're looking for a pick, probably looking to find a G2 player, looking for information. I'm gleaning this all from the minimap, um, as you can see. But it looks like uh nothing is gonna happen nope they're going lower now okay so complexity are now committing to lower um mona c swapped the orb with nico because nico's on 7 hp uh complexity coming back up again 40 seconds okay this is a little bit over complicated don't think uh this is the smartest play from complexity but i guess they look like they might get something done here Okay, so Monacy gets the info. G2 should win this round. I'm going to say this right now. 30 seconds. They haven't cracked the bomb site. Like G G2 should win this round. <clears throat> Monacy looking a little bit uncomfy here. Oh, okay. Good entry from J2. Uh, J2? JT. Monacy probably should get something done there, but... Yeah, I, I, I can't lie. I think G2 probably should do better in that round. Um... Like, it was so, so late, the complexity got any ground, and, yeah, they just hit all the entries, I guess. I, I guess on the one side, you say G2 should probably do better. With 30 seconds, complexity aren't that close to cracking a bomb site yet. You're like, okay, this should be G2 favoured, but then again, if complexity hit all their entries, what are you going to do? So, oh, wait, we're on Hunter. That's not who we're looking at. We're looking at the bomb. Monacy. I haven't really seen him do anything on an inner defense yet from this 7 position, but Complexity haven't gone for a far... Have they gone for a single fast upper rush? I can't remember. Not on a gun round, I don't think they have. But I wonder if they just don't have the execute, like, super ironed out yet. I think this is going to be a dull one for a little bit. Yeah, Complexity going for, like, a slow creep outside. Nico gets the entry from sort of CT and wrapping garage. Yeah, G2 is set up to kind of repel this stuff. Yeah, this is... Nico just wins the game. And that is that! Well, pretty good, I would say, from Monacy. I'd give that one a 7, maybe a 7.5 out of 10. Um, 
like I say, I don't think he had to do anything super spectacular for the kills that he was getting in the first half on the T side, but he did hit some nice shots just throughout that game and on the uh, CT side in on the T side, sorry, in particular. I think to summarize there, um, I was expecting Modesty to look uncomfortable on the CT side. Um, particularly just knowing that his fragging basically stopped um, on the CT side. I knew that obviously from looking, watching the game live and looking uh, at the scoreboards and stuff on HLTV after. Actually, I really don't think he did too much wrong on that CT side. Um, there was a couple of times he looked a little bit uncomfortable, particularly when he was holding like up in heaven. He didn't seem too comfortable with that position. He definitely seemed a little bit more out at home when he was kind of holding outside from that sort of CT area, from more like hell. Um, but in all honesty, he kind of made the right like movements on the map and rotations when he needed to. Um, he hit shots when they actually came anywhere near him. It was actually just for most of that CT side. They weren't really getting anywhere near Monacy. Um One time they did in hell, and I think he should have fallen back. But the fact that Lexi B came to support him told me that maybe that was a call from LXB saying I'm gonna come help you hell we're gonna fight um but yeah overall really not any major mistakes one kind of mistake when I think when he had the scout outside and he swung out wide when he probably shouldn't have um and then a couple of shots he missed where probably mechanically you should say if you're a top tier AWP you should hit those but you're allowed one or two of those I think in a game just the nature of the AWP yeah, overall impressed with Monacy in that one. Um, looked really crisp and mechanically and actually looked pretty comfortable in that tier one environment. So no complaints here. Carlos, if you're wondering, thumbs up. Money well spent. I reckon he's going to be a good player. You know the drill, boys and girls. You like the video, you comment on the video, you tell your grandma about the video. And if you don't like the video, why are you here?